Good morning, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. Everything you need to start the day in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news from Australia that a brokerage, Opus Prime, has collapsed. Late on Friday, ANZ Bank put in the receivers to Opus Prime. Opus owes ANZ about $650 million. It also owes Merrill Lynch about $350 million. Now, ANZ says this is not a problem, that Opus Prime had collateral in stocks worth about $650 million, and ANZ will be able to sell this onto the market and not be left with too much of a loss. But this is a major blow for the Australian markets. This is the second brokerage to collapse in recent months after Tricom and will really unsettle investors. Elsewhere, Lehman Brothers, the US investment bank, has been hit by a $355 million fraud in Japan. A couple of traders there look like they've uh, done a job on Lehman Brothers and the traders worked for Marabini Corp and Lehman wants Marabini to pay the money back. Also, we're seeing signs of a sweeping changes in US regulatory arrangements. There's talk that the US Federal Reserve will have more powers and that the Securities and Exchange Commission will be merged with the Commodities Future Trading Commission. And back closer to home, ASB Bank has increased its two-year deposit rate to 9% from 8%. Now, this is a big move in the term deposit scene where ASB Bank looks to be targeting particularly one-year and two-year money with those big rates of 9%. That will put increasing, increasing pressure on finance companies. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz. That was 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Oh,